All right, Mr. Milo. Somebody sure is missing out on this fantastic cat, and I get it. I probably am scaring people away by the video of when he first got here and he was a little opinionated, but that's what I love about these cats is they're so smart and they're so opinionated, and he really is. He's just, this is just such a great cat. He talks, he's got wonderful, wonderful voice. He interacts, he um, loves and is affectionate. He lets you know when it's time for him to have a nap and be left alone. He's a bit of a prima donna in a male um, body. He's absolutely gorgeous. He's excellent in all of his habits. His blood work is incredibly in incredibly good shape. Teeth are in great shape. Uh, I mean, this is a wonderful cat that, uh, you know, is, is likely to be a very long-lived Siamese cat. Um, just so personable and so involved and so um, friendly and so interactive and so Siamese. Yeah. Oh, he's just great. He wants to be with you and sleep with you. Um, you know, he has moments where he's like, bug off. But it, it, very few, and honestly, then he's got a reason. It's just, you know, he's just like, the smarter they are, the better they are. I just think they, they're more like people. And um, this cat is a very uh, much a person cat. Uh, he's just great. He's just great. So somebody's really missing out on this cat. Um, if you really like the Siamese personality, it's a very involved, fun cat likes to play, actually loves to play, um, loves his, you know, he's got his comforter and his special bed here in his cage, he loves that, you know, he doesn't have much use for other cats, um, and that's exactly a good way to put it, uh, but he tolerates them, I think as long as he got enough attention, and he needs a lot of attention, um, he'd be fine, but not in a huge cat household, you know, I wouldn't do that, um, but just a great cat. So come on. Where is your adopter, Mr. Milo? Huh?